Well, wasn't that fun? And we've only just begun. It's like Amazing Grace says, we'll have no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. And we've got a whole schedule of music ahead of us tonight. And I'm so glad to see so many gathered in behind me. And I know there's going to be a couple more, too. And I'm so glad to see so many of you out there as well on this wintry day. We escaped a lot of the winter this winter, didn't we? But we didn't escape it this weekend. But uh, thanks for coming in. I trust you all got your emails and your texts. And uh, there is a bulletin available at the doors when you came in. I didn't get one here. But by way of announcements tonight, I do want to remind you about Alabaster offering that's coming up at the uh, near the end of this month. It's Sunday, February 21st. And uh, you'll see that notated in your bulletin there this evening. And as always, uh, there will be a men's box, and there will be a ladies' box. And so be prepared for what comes uh, when we pit the men against the women in a friendly competition here at Southport. So let's be saving, and let's be uh, uh, praying about what would God, what God would have us do in the alabaster offering this season. There's other announcements in the bulletin that you can avail yourself to. If you look in the looking ahead section, you'll see where God's Bible School Choir is coming. You'll see where Kentucky Mountain Bible College Choir is coming. You'll see where we have a youth revival scheduled. That was done this week. The youth department initiated that. And so things are happening here at Southport, and uh, we're excited about that, and I trust you will be on board with us. If you're visiting tonight, if you would go in the pew box in front of you, there's a yellow visitor card. If you fill that out, and then sometime this evening, just place that in the offering box in the foyer. Uh, that would be great. And if you're visiting with us online tonight, we want to give you a special welcome. This is not our regular Sunday night service. This is a fifth Sunday Singspiration service where we uh, drop the formalities and just come together in fellowship with music. And then we're going to be sharing a soup supper downstairs later as well. So that's great. Pastor Sweezy, would you come and open us with a word of prayer tonight at the pulpit? I received a prayer in the in my email, uh, and it was a prayer that was written in 1996 to be prayed for the uh, Kansas uh, State uh, Assembly uh, when they were beginning to meet at the beginning of the year. And uh, I want to say, if you want to read a powerful prayer, just get in touch with me, and I'll copy you on it and send it to you but it is a powerful prayer at the time the prayer caused a little bit of controversy and s some people reacted to it and the, the person who sent it to me said imagine what would happen if he prayed that prayer today but it is a powerful prayer and it's one that we can all pray together and, uh, and I wanted to make that available to people and let you know that uh, I believe in reading and uh, using great prayers, and that is a great one. Uh, the pastor who wrote that in Kansas, I just, uh, I really appreciate his ministry. And I'll be glad to share that with you and forward it to you. Let's stand and begin our service with prayer. Lord, we've come to rejoice in your presence and to make music in our hearts and in our minds. And Lord, with instruments, let everything that has breath bring praises to your holy name. Be lifted up among us. Let your son, Jesus Christ, be lifted up among us. Because we believe and we trust the promise that if he is lifted up, he will draw all men to himself. Draw us closer to you tonight, Lord, through the music and the ministry of those who have come to share it with us. Bless them and lift them up and use them as your instruments of blessing. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Remain standing tonight. I'm sorry. We're going to sing a hymn together before we get underway. It's number 467 in the purple hymnal in front of you. 467, Higher Ground. Let's sing it together tonight as we open. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I'm onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me... 
let me stand by faith on heaven's table land a higher plane than i have found lord plant my feet on higher ground my heart has no desire to stay where doubts arise and fears dismay though some may dwell singing. You may be seated tonight. We're going to get well underway. There's some surprises in the agenda tonight. There's some people using their gifts tonight that you've maybe never seen before, and uh, some of them have new gifts. And one of the ones that you might be a little bit shocked by is going to start us off tonight, and that is our very own Pastor Mike Els. He plays the trumpet. That sounds like a plan. Let's sing this. It kind of goes along with what he's playing. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by his blood. Join us with Jesus as we travel this God. For 
get together with God's wonderful people. Thank you so much, Pastor Mike. Were you shocked? The other day. <laughs> what you don't know is that Pastor Mike has been practicing for about six months after a, after a dormancy of not playing for several years. Is that right? Multiple years. And uh, he's been practicing for six months for tonight. And so I think we might hear a little more of that in the future. Thank you so much. Coming to sing for us next is another little surprise, and that is Miss Kate Chastain.
You love to see young people sing and develop their gifts and use them for the Lord? I certainly do. Katie Harrell is next. She's coming to sing. What are you singing, Katie? The Healer. The Healer. And who sings that? Carrie Job. Carrie Job. I think I've heard that name. Probably. <laughs>
let me introduce you to my friend Greg. Say hi, Greg. Hi. <laughs> I like to hang out with Greg. Sometimes we uh, chew around in here talking and for hours. Both of us like to talk. I don't know where we got that. I know I got it from my dad. I don't know where Greg got it, but, but we both like to chat and we both like to collaborate and he's really musical and so sometimes we, we get together and put kind of, what would you call it, unconventional stuff together. <laughs> and so what you're about to hear from us tonight is something else unconventional, but I trust you'll enjoy it and maybe appreciate the eclectic nature of it. And if you want to turn to uh, page 289, this is a song we've sung before, uh, just as a congregational song, but um, I'd like to honor the pastor tonight because he loved this man. His name is Andre Crouch. He wrote the words to this song. Did you all hear 289, right? And uh, we're going to do the first uh, three lines or the first three stanzas and then you're going to hear us break into some other words, and those are the words that were also written for this song by Andre Crouch. I don't know, uh, did you ever hear him in concert? You did. I heard him one time, and uh, it's a real influence on me, and I know he was an influence on the pastor and his music, so I just always felt like we ought to know the rest of the words to this, so you guys are kind of like the guinea pigs tonight so that we can do this. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. In a rivers we must cross Should there be any mountains we must climb God will supply all the strength that we need Give us grace till we reach the other side we have come from every nation. God knows each of us by name. Jesus took his blood and he washed all of our sin away. Yes, there have some of us who have laid down our lives, but we all shall live again on the other side. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. Hallelujah. Mm. 
us play a verse with you playing the drum now. Oh, you can sing. Sing with me. We are going to see the king. No more crying there. We are going to see the king. No more crying there. We are going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to see the king. It will be soon and very soon. We are Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. Sing it, hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the I'm just glad you're allowed to be a part of that session. I think you see I'm a white boy, I can't play and sing. <laughs> I often tell people I was born the wrong color because I loved it. No. In my spare time, I do a little jiving, but that's okay. I won't tell you too much about that. Joyce is going to play for us tonight. Joyce plays the violin beautifully. And uh, this evening, she's going to play something unaccompanied. No piano, just Joyce and her violin. And I'm going to get this close so we can. And Tim did not know I was playing this at, when he set up the schedule. This world is not my home. So it's a great follow-up. Sometimes God just there you go. leads. There you go. Good.
Thank you so much, Joyce. Did you, were you listening closely there? Did you hear there was a couple times when she was playing two notes at one time? Did you hear that? We call that, I'm no violinist, but they call that double stops. And uh, just let me tell you, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Randall, let's come up to the platform here. We've got a men's trio we're going to sing. And Pastor Mike's going to come and help us as well. And uh, it's another one. It kind of kind of goes along with what Joyce just played and what Greg just sang about. It says, farther along, we'll know more about it. Farther along, we'll understand why. Good job. 
Don't you love a good men's quartet? I do too, but we're missing our fourth right now. But just you wait. We'll get our fourth back and we'll be a men's quartet all over again. And maybe we'll come up with some new songs. Well, you just heard three old fogies sing. Because I'm over 30 now. <laughs> oh, hush all these comments. <laughs> now, three young, beautiful ladies are going to come and sing for us. And this long-awaited moment when they each get to hold or stand around, stand around a microphone and sing for you. Can you ladies tell us your names with the help of Miss Darla here? We have three little girls that love to sing, they love to hold microphones, and they love the platform. So I thought, put this to good, good, put their energy to good use, right? So they'll know what it's about, and they'll know how, and they're a little bit nervous, but it's going to be okay. So who do we have? My name is Estelle. Charlotte. So before I, before I sing, I do have a little story I want to share with you. The last couple of weeks I've been singing this song, and I don't know if I can get through this without crying, but it's another Andre Crouch song. So I've been singing this song through it all. A couple of weeks ago, it'll, in fact, this Wednesday, it'll be two weeks ago, we had a miracle happen in our family. So our nephew had grew up in church our, his whole life. He knew Christ, but he took a different path. He got life in prison. No parole, it was federal prison. Two weeks ago, he was on uh, President Trump's uh, list for pardon. 
and through many, many people's uh, prayer, life-changing, he came home. It is, it is only through the grace of God that he is home, and he gives all praise to Jesus Christ. He found Christ in federal prison, and he's had a complete roundabout. I talked to him this afternoon, and he says, through it all, through it all, it has been through it all, Jesus Christ. Pray for me. I've had many tears and sorrows. I've had questions for tomorrow. There's been times I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave me blessed consolation that my trials came to make me strong. I've been to a lot of places. I've seen so many faces. There's been times I felt so all alone. But in my lonely hour, in those precious lonely hours jesus let me know that i was his own through Trusting God through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon His Word. I thank God for the mountains and I thank him for the valleys and I thank him for the storms he's brought me through for if I never had a problem I wouldn't know that God could solve them I'd never know what faith in God could do Trusting God through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon His Word. I've learned to depend upon His Word. I'm depending upon you Lord. thank you for the song Paula thank you for the testimony and the story about God's grace it sustains praise the Lord Adam, are you going to sing for us tonight? Yes, sir. Who's singing with you tonight? My mother. Your mother. And uh, tell us what you're singing tonight. We are singing the goodness of God. One second here. I, too, um, have so much to be thankful for. And 
And this song just means so much to me, the goodness of God and how faithful he has been through my life. I went through an incident about eight years ago where literally um, my life could have been taken. And the very next day, I, um, I was in an office and I got a phone call and I answered it. And this lady who I just connected with, like I hadn't seen her in years, and I connected with her about a month before this incident happened. And she called me the day afterwards and she said, Carla, she said, are you okay? And I said, yes. And she said, I could not get you off my heart yesterday. And I just told her, I said, you know what? I am alive today because you prayed for me. And I believe that with my whole heart, that that lady intervened. She went to the throne of God and prayed for me. And, I'm, and so I love the Lord so much. you Lord oh your Your mercy mercy never fails me and all my days I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God your voice. You have led me through the fire. In dark of night, you were close like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. And I have lived in the goodness of God. It's running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down and surrendered now, I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. With my life laid and surrendered now, I give you everything. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. sing 
King of the goodness of God. I will sing of the goodness of God. Thank you, Adam. I like standing here because... I'm just about eye level with you. <laughs> just about. He's still got a hair on me. A quartet is coming at this time to sing for us, and that includes my wife. And she doesn't have a program, so my wife, this is my call to you. Come and sing with us, my love. Sometimes we laugh together. 
I have to tell you, I thought about Brother Leroy while we were singing that song. We'll all meet again, together forever. No more parting, no more saying goodbye, no more passing. There won't even be time in heaven. It's not measured like it is here. This is a song about Jesus. I hope you enjoy it tonight.
soul is affected every time I hear the name of Jesus because he means so much to me. He's the sweetest name there is. Praise his name tonight. We have a special, special treat tonight, and I apologize. I've looked at the schedule, and I've put you guys almost right at the very end. So publicly and humbly, my sincere apology. I would never do that to a guest intentionally. But Ken and Lisa, come and sing for us tonight. Ken and Lisa have visited our church here recently in recent months and weeks. And uh, when they heard we were having us sing, somebody asked them to sing. And guess what? They said yes. So here they are tonight. And uh, Ken and Lisa are going to sing for us. There's a red one. And here's a green one. I want to say how much I love the Lord this evening. And, you know, all the songs kind of seem to lead in the same direction, all about heaven. And I know that we all have loved ones that are there that we long to see, but we long to see Jesus more than anything. So this song is one of our, one of our favorites, and it just talks about that sweet view of land. For a country to which I've never been before, no sad goodbyes will ever there be spoken, for time won't
you Will you all sing love. that chorus with us? You love I speak for everybody here tonight. Come back and sing anytime. <laughs> as soon as we're done up here tonight, we're going to go downstairs together, and I hope each of you will come. There is plenty of food. We've had uh, several bring in soups, and we're going to share a soup supper tonight. And uh, we'll have a blessing up here as soon as we're done. So when you get downstairs, you can go right ahead and into the line. Uh, there'll be gloves, there'll be masks. Please use those, it makes it safe for everybody. And uh, We'll have a good time down there tonight, fellowshipping. Jill, come and sing for us. You're the end of the show tonight. You're the show showstopper. Pray. 
Lord, please, let us stay and rest in your holiness. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that has surrounded and carried us tonight, Lord, as you have blessed our hearts and as you have ministered to our spirits and as you have brought to mind and recalled perhaps loved ones who have gone on to be in your presence. Lord, I pray that you would bless those of us who remain. Bless us in these days. I pray that your grace would be sufficient for the trials that we face and that your mercies would be new for us every morning and that we would recognize it and live therein, God. Thank you for this service tonight. I pray your blessing upon the meal that we will share together in just a few moments. And I also pray your blessing upon the fellowship that is shared therein, Lord. We place a high value on Christian fellowship with our brothers and sisters. I pray that you would be edified as we fellowship together, Lord, and that we would all leave encouraged and blessed tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you downstairs in a few minutes.